today's video, I'm going to be taking over a prime 2008 Manchester United team for 10 seasons. That's right, boys. We've basically rewinded the clock to 2008 and everything in this career mode is from then. Wayne Rooney back at Manchester United. We've even got his age right. So he's 22. He's going to last for the entire takeover. Ronaldo, right midfielder, 91 rated at the age of 23, still at Manchester United. I'm not going to sell him, unlike, you know, what Man United did in real life. And that's been done for practically every player. We've even got a 48 rated Jesse Lingard at the age of 15. This is nuts. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and this mod that I'm using is pretty much reset everything to 2008 for practically every player. Like Didier Drogba, back at Chelsea, 88 rated. Xavi's at Barcelona and Van Persie's at Arsenal. Maybe we can do something about that. This is going to be the most insane takeover we've ever done. Can we break the takeover record, which is, I think, 34 trophies? So let's see. All right, boys, season one begins. And I can't believe we've been transported back to 2008 with this side, like Dimitar Berbatov on the bench. I'm going to be converting Rooney and Tevez to a striker. So that should not be a problem. But I'm thinking, what can we do for our first few signings? I think right back is the best bet. But I didn't check the budgets. How much money are we working with? Because back then, finances weren't as crazy as they are now. Yup. And Manchester United only start with a 66.76 million budget. It's going to be so tricky to figure out players to sign because we are back in time. Who were the good players back then? It's going to be a hunt. Who were the iconic right backs back in 2008? What about Sergio Ramos? He was a right back back then. At the age of 22, I think I'm going to do this. Absolutely perfect. Sergio Ramos at Manchester United would be insane. He's going to be so freaking expensive. I don't think we can sign anyone else if we do this. And look at that. He also looks like the young Sergio Ramos. This mod is insane. By the way, shout out to Shadowboy for making this mod. I'll have a link to it in the description to his Patreon and everything. We're not going to pay that release clause, boys. We're going to negotiate and figure things out. I want Sergio Ramos for my team. All right, let's see what we can offer for Sergio Ramos now. Because valuations weren't as crazy as they are back then, um, I'm just going to try 28 million as my first offer. What are they going to say? Well, they were pretty crazy, but for a 22-year-old, 86-rated right back, I still think 51 million is amazing. Um, let's go with 32 is my next stop. You know, we gotta negotiate well. 51, 50 freaking one. In this takeover, we're gonna do it in the reverse way. We're not gonna let Real Madrid take Ronaldo away. We're gonna steal Sergio Ramos from them. 38 million is going to be my next offer. They're sticking to 51. What about 43 or 44? What about 44 million? Come on, meet me halfway. There you go. All right, guys. We're actually negotiating now with a young Sergio Ramos. Now look at that. He's even got the headband and everything. Five-year deal for him. No release clause. Perfect. I can't believe Ramos wouldn't wake up for a contract like that. What even? Are we actually going to offer him this? He's willing to accept it as well. well. We'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. Sergio Ramos at Manchester United. And look at that. Sergio Ramos. And these were the old Man United kits as well. We've just signed him. Well, that's Gary Neville's career at Manchester United pretty much over. Because I don't think he's going to be playing over Sergio Ramos. I guess he'll be a good pundit in the future, man. You never know. Honestly, guys, I don't want to change too much from this team. Because I want to get through a season and see what this side is all about. You know, this was a historic Manchester United team when they won the Champions League and everything. So let's get through a season and see what's up. So we're at the end of the first season and let's see where we finished in the Premier League. Manchester City. This was an old Manchester City when they probably didn't get that funding from, of course, uh, Abu Dhabi and whatever. And they dwelt in the Premier League with their old logo. Portsmouth back in the Premier League back then. Everton with their old logo. Regardless, we're in the top four. Arsenal fourth, while well, Arsenal finished fourth back then, even under Wenger. Chelsea third, Liverpool second, we've won the league in our first season. Trophy number one in the bag. What about the cup competitions? No FA Cup, Brighton win that, which is a bit of a surprise spot. Trophy number two, we've just won the Carabao Cup. What about the Champions League in real life in 2008, Manchester United won the Champions League over Chelsea. What's going to happen here? We're top of our group. We knock out PSG in the round of 
16. We knock out Villarreal. We knock out Porto. And here we are against Chelsea. A literal recreation of what happened in real life. All right, guys. I'm so interested in seeing that Chelsea team. Drogba, Lampard, Essien, Ricardo Carvalho, Petr Cech. Very interesting. We've got Ryan Giggs, who looks like he's 80 rated. I think we should be playing Nani over him in a game like this now. But that's our team. Carlos Tevez. Wayne Rooney up top. Ronaldo now 95 rated. I think we can get him to a 99. That's going to be the team we rock. Let's win this Champions League and make it three trophies out of three right Bro. now. We lose it. I can't believe it. It's only two trophies. Chelsea beat us in this Champions League final. Michael Balak scoring a 114th minute winner. To be honest, still a good season in terms of trophies and the team is looking even more insane. But next season, we need to get some improvements. Look at that. Cristiano Ronaldo. You you absolute machine. Yo, we're gonna not we're not selling him to Real Madrid. I'm sorry. I want to keep him for the entire 10 seasons and have him break records here with us. So 36 goals in this first season. I think he's the top assistant as well. Unbelievable. And he's done all of this as a right midfielder. So Cristiano Ronaldo after the first season is our top scorer and top sister. I think he's gonna be here in at least one of the categories for the entire challenge. Also, if you guys want to see more retro takeovers. Maybe one with Chelsea or Manchester City. Drop a like in the video. I need to see 10,000 likes in this one. Also, subscribe because we're pushing for 500,000 subscribers. Okay, now we're starting to see some of the insane budgets we're used to in real life these days. 200 million for season two. And we do have positions to improve because I'm not a fan of Nani being first choice. I think we need someone better than, of course, Ryan Giggs anyways. That's something I want to do. Plus, I'm also thinking... Thinking a new goalkeeper might be smart because Van der Sar, he's 38 and he's retiring end of season. A 92 rated Bufo. I know he's 31. We'll have to replace him soon, but I like the idea of this. A Bufo at his absolute best. And we know this man can play up till he's 42. I think we're going to sign him up. Let's see if I can swap Edwin Van der Sar in this deal because if I'm being honest, he's going to retire anyways. Might as well uh, get it done this way. 13 million plus Van der Sar. They don't want him. I guess they know he's going to retire. Retire. We'll pay the 42 million. By the way, remember, guys, we can only still sign two players every season. That's all. So Buffon is going to be one of them. And there you have it, boys. First signing done. GG Buffon is here. Going to put him in the starting 11. And Van der Sar is going to retire. Buffon in this team is going to help us win the Champions League. I mean, well, maybe not because he's never won one. But okay, we'll see. Yo, I've just seen Crespo pop up as a suggestion. Ah, uh, this was Crespo at his end, you could say. Don't think we're going to sign him. Ah. Uh, I have an idea for a striker, boys. Something that happened in real life. Robin Van Persie. I want to bring him to Manchester United and steal him away from Arsenal, even in this takeover. Let's do this. And I'm thinking because Carlos Tevez kind of betrayed Manchester United, went and joined City, we can put him in this deal because why not? A straight swap, I think, is a good deal for both. They're probably getting the better of this deal. They don't even want Carlos Tevez. We're just going to have to pay cash for Van Persie, which I guess is fine. We will do that and we'll sell Tevez uh, differently. So there you go. 43 million for Van Persie. Okay, I'm going to be transfer listing Carlos Tevez now. I'm very curious to seeing where he ends up. In other news, we've just signed Van Persie and that's our two transfers for the season done. Oh no, he's going to take 225 weeks to become a striker? How? That is so stupid. Guys, I'm just going to use the cheat engine and make him a striker because this makes no sense. And there you go. With the magic of the cheat engine, Van Persie is now a striker. But as a striker, he's lost a couple of ratings, which I don't understand why. We'll hopefully try and gain it back. By the way, um, Barcelona. No, that's not Barcelona. That's just somebody with the Barcelona logo. I don't even know, but they want Lingard on loan. Well, they can have a 50 rated Lingard. I don't know what they're going to do with him. We get our first offer for Carlos Tevez. It's from Bayern Munich. We're just going to accept it. It's not moving to City in this one at least. There you go. Our signings are done. Van Persie up top. Gigi Buffon in that goalkeeping position. The rest of the team's looking nice. We'll wait until next season to maybe improve the midfield and the left wing position. Let's see how we fare in season two. We start with the community shield. I think some teams still have their real life lineups. Like, Brighton weren't a big deal back then. So, Tariq Lamptey and Neil Morpe are up against a 2008 Manchester United team. What's gonna happen in this one? Easy dub for us. 
Ronaldo with the brace. He's unstoppable. And that is trophy number three. We're at the end of the season. And unfortunately, Chelsea get the better of us. By five points. They're going to be a real competition in this takeover. Because they've got a very good team. We don't win the FA Cup. Portsmouth win that. What? No Carabao Cup as well. No way. The only trophy we're going to win this season. It can't be just the Community Shield. It is. Because we got knocked out by Celtic in the Champions League as well. No way. With this team, how did we end up bottling it this bad? Or maybe it's because I I've noticed Vidic does not have Rio Ferdinand as his partner. Where's Rio Ferdinand? Nah, nah, Rio. You can't be doing this to us. You can't be doing this to us. Rio Ferdinand has betrayed us, boys. Rio Ferdinand has betrayed us and joined Liverpool. No. Hey, yo, what the f***? Why? Why would you do that, Rio? No. That is unreal. That is actually unreal. When did this even happen? Nah, dude, that can't be happening. No wonder we were pretty much trophyless this season. Anyways, big ups Cristiano Ronaldo again. Another season of domination. Nani, though, top assister. We have a new top assister this season in Nani. Guys, we took in there last season because of the center back situation because Rio Ferdinand ditched us. So what we're going to do now is look for a new center back. Now, who were the good center backs back then? Surely Maldini was in the game. No, he wasn't. Why is there a 12 year old in this game? What? Yo, guys, I want to do this for a few seasons. Puyol's only going to give us maybe one or two good seasons, but that's fine. Let's have a bit of fun with Carlos Puyol in our back line. All right, how much are we going to have to pay for him? Maybe 22 million, 21 million because he is 32. Owen Hargreaves in a swap deal. I don't want to give Owen Hargreaves. We will keep him. So let's offer 24 million. Xavi's coaching Xavi right now. Regardless, 27.2 million. We've got the cash anyway, so let's bring Puyol to Manchester United. Guys, guys, guys. I think I've found the perfect left midfielder for us to sign. Frank Ribery. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. 93 rated back on this 2008 database are you kidding me we're signing him 100 and 50 million is enough to get him and there you go both the puyol and ribbery deals are done that's incredible let's quickly put them into our team i think we're gonna be putting nanny on the bench ryan Giggs, it's your time to retire mate ribbery goes into the starting 11 also carlos puyol will be there too instead of brown awesome man and that's gonna be basically our team for this season by the way, not being on Jesse Lingard, he's up to a 57 overall. Not too bad. Guys, surely with Ribéry coming in, this team has got to win the Champions League this season. This season, guys, we do get the Premier League title. That means trophy number four in the bag. Any of the cup competitions doesn't look like it. Man City win the Carabao Cup. We topped our Champions League group. AC Milan getting knocked out. Wow. Ran a 16 though. We knocked out Werder Bremen. I mean, we destroyed them. But then Bayern Munich destroyed us. I guess revenge for signing Ribéry. Even with Carlos Puyol and Ribéry, we could just add one more trophy to the list. That's bad. It really is Ronaldo's world and we're just living in it right now. I mean, look at him. 30 goals and 17 assists this season. And guess who's back? owning both the top scorer and the top assist the chart. Ronaldo's killing it. We're into the fourth season now, and I actually like the look of my team for this season, so I don't want to make any changes. I want to win that Champions League, man. Like, with this team, it's 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 criminal that we haven't won the Champions League yet, so no signings for season four. Let's put this team to the test and hopefully win the Champions League. I mean, Ronaldo 96, Ramos 93, Buffon 93. What else do we want? Alright, this could be a real good sign if we can win the Community Shield final against Arsenal. Their team looked a bit insane. And we lost Bruh. on penalties. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We've just got four trophies and we're on our fourth season now with a pretty much prime Manchester United team. I knew it. I needed to keep the team same for this season because the recipe was there for success. And look at that. We've thrashed our opposition in the Premier League. Oh my god. That's trophy number five. Sunderland out here winning trophies. What? We do end up winning the Carabao Cup. So that's trophy number six. And are we finally going to do well in the Champions League? Look at that. PSG finishing third in this group. We're first. Round of 16. We get through Villarreal, but it was dramatic. Quarterfinals. We get through Chelsea. We get through Inter. And we're in the Champions League final against Valencia. How are they this good? I'm pretty sure this is our second Champions League final. They've got David Villa. David Silva. No wonder they're this good, man. This is not going to be an easy game at all. Let's sim it. Please, let's win this on penalties. 
Carlos Puyol out here scoring the winning pen. We've won the Champions League, boys. Oh my god. Trophy number seven. We've just won a treble. This was the season of Robin Van Persie. 43 goals. Oh my god. Look at Sergio Ramos dropping a season with 16 assists. Are you kidding me? Ronaldo still did pretty well. Four seasons down the line, it is still the Ronaldo show. Guys, we're into the fifth season right now, which means we're somewhere in like 2014 uh, or something. And we have quite a few players in their 30s. So soon, we're going to have to start replacing them. We're coming off winning a Champions League, so we don't need to do anything radical. But I've got a few ideas. I'm going to be stealing a player from Arsenal again. Van Persie was done. We're gonna do Francesc Fabregas. Basically, Cesc Fabregas for that midfield. Maybe we'll give them Michael Carrick or something. I don't mind that. Let's see who we can offer in this deal. Anderson, surprisingly, is just insane. What well, he, He's been one of Man United's forgotten players, you know. Um, he We, we want to keep him, but I'm okay with giving away Owen Hargreaves. I want to keep Michael Carrick, so we'll give away Owen Hargreaves. Chuck in another 20 million in this offer. What are they gonna say? They're okay with it 35 million i gotta pay but that's fine we're, we're gonna get fabregas into our team and boys we've managed to sign fabregas into our team let's go by the way fun fact lingard has gone all the way from a 47 rated player to now a 61 and he's still like 19 so that's not too bad guys for the first time ever i'm gonna be using the global transfer network to get myself players i want i'm looking for a left back a center back world-class players let's see how this works don't think i want to sign anyone else because I just couldn't find the right player to bring in. So for now, we're going to keep the squad as is this season and let's defend our Champions League. Chance to win another trophy because we've got Sunderland in the cup final community shield, which we do end up winning. Let's go. That's trophy number eight. Don't you forget, we've got the UEFA Super Cup as well against Fiorentina. Another trophy and that's one we do dead. That's trophy number nine. Now we're starting to rack up them trophies. And that's another Premier League this time with a hundred points we've built the super team i think we've successfully built the super team that is trophy number 10 any of the cup competitions for us ah oh, no we're still on 10 trophies though and have we made the champions league final well we've topped our group we're through against Werder bremen we get through inter we get through wolfsburg and it's against liverpool champions league final let's do this all right guys liverpool versus manchester united champions league final doesn't get any bigger than this they've got Fernando Torres, Mascherano, Gerard, Carragher, Rio Ferdinand is just wrong. But anyways, let's win this game and win our 11 trophy. No. Ryan Babel ends up scoring against us. What? Oh my god, we lose this. Van Persie outscoring Ronaldo. I mean, Ronaldo is not doing bad at all, but this is insane. We need to look at Ronaldo's stats next season because he's going to hit 99 soon. Ronaldo still owns the top scorer charts, but Van Persie's coming for him. Okay, so attack and midfield looks to be sorted. I reckon we need to replace Carlos Puyol. We, we, we need to do that, but who do we even replace him with? Guys, I'm genuinely thinking, let's convert Sergio Ramos to a centre-back. Look at his stats. They're absolutely insane. Him as a centre-back, it'll take 415 weeks. Forget it. I'm not doing that. We're just going to find a new centre-back. Oh, we could go for Pepe. Milito is an option. Yo, the scouting report has got us some nice players. Who remembers Fabrizio Colaccini playing for Newcastle? Jamie Carragher. We're not signing him. Him, of course. John Terry is 93 rated, but can't have him at Manchester United, man. Feels a bit odd. I think I'm just going to sign Pepe. Swap deal for Carlos Puyol. Works for me. Okay, now we, we, we can't be swapping Puyol to Real Madrid. We, we, we will keep Puyol, I guess. I don't have the heart to put Puyol at Real Madrid. I guess we don't need to sell Puyol. We can just keep him on the bench. Let him retire in his own time. I like this voice. Pepe for a few seasons. I think he'll ball out. Let us put him in that starting 11 there you go we need a bit of depth in the left back position man but can't seem to find anyone good guys i don't mind this leighton baines as backup uh let's just pay his release clause and get him that's super cheap all right there you go leighton baines and pepe into our lineup love that oh no 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 we don't have a backup keeper and i've used my two signings no we're gonna have to get through this season without a backup keeper that means please buffon stay fit please stay fit otherwise we'll be modded let's get through this season and that is another league title we've made a habit out of winning the league title
Spider Man trophy number 11, I think. And add the community shield to it as well. Make that 12. What about the cops? We won the FA Cup as well. 13 now. Carabao Cup, we don't win that, but have we made the Champions League final? Yes, we have against Barcelona. All right, we're going to see if Messi's in their team. Yup, Messi is there. Why are they playing Sergio Busquets left wing? Melito center mid. Iniesta, Yaya, Torre, PK. They've got an interesting team, man. They've got a very interesting team. Let's sim this. Can we win the Champions League? We've lost way too many finals, but this time we get it done. We've won our 13th trophy. Have we won more than that? I think, yeah, this is trophy number 14. And boys, Cristiano Ronaldo is our first 99 rated player. That is insane. And would you look at the stats? Wayne Rooney outscores everyone. More than Van Persie and Ronaldo. Ribery with sizable assists, but I think Ronaldo is still going to be king. I didn't think this was possible, but Van Persie is super close to, to Ronaldo. He better step things up. He's scoring still at an incredible rate but Van Persie's just in fine form. Okay this is bad I messed up contracts and because of that we've got uh, Evra joining Spurs, Vidic joining Spurs West Brown's gone, Frank Ribery's gone. Um uh we've got a problem now with our team and yeah it's gonna be tough to fix yup the, the situation is this bad that, that Jesse Lingard's gotta be on the bench for now. Uh we need to fix up, we need a centre back, we need a left back, that's priority. Guys I've just found a region that's 87 rated, a free agent, Lucas Holden. I don't know who's free agent or who's regent this guy is, but if we can get him for free, that's an 87 rated center back, boys. Lucas Holden, uh, I'm taking it. There you go. That's our center back problem solved. No way. Guys, look who's available for left back. Jared Bale was a left back back then. Yes. His stats are insane. We've just got a left back. I can't believe I'm going to be signing and playing Gareth Bale at left back. But hey, it is what it is. We're going to do this. How much is he going to cost us? 42.8 million. Yo, what a signing. It's crazy how Bale started as a left back, then moved to like a cent left mid or a right mid. Actually, he moved to a left mid. Then he moved to like a center forward and finally settled at being like a right midfielder, right winger. Looks a bit weird that, you know, but we'll, we'll still sign him. I want Gareth. Gareth Bale, let's go. You know what? The crisis of everybody leaving us with contracts expiring has created new opportunities. We've now got Gareth Bale as our left back. How mad is that? Not gonna lie, we are lacking a bit of squad depth, but I still love the look of this team. First team still insane with now Gareth Bale coming in. Let's get through this season and win more trophies. That's trophy number 15 because we've just won the Premier League. Oh, we lost the Community Shield on Pence though. Did we win any of the, you know, domestic cups? FA Cup in the bag against Wolves. Trophy number 16. What about the Carabao Cup? We don't win that Spurs do. Champions League. Have we made it to the final? But first, pretty sure we won the Super Cup. We won that. Trophy number 17. And in the Champions League, we're in the final against Ajax. What's Ajax's team looking like? They've got Suarez. Is that Luis Suarez? Probably is. And they've got a few players who they still have in real life. The squads are kind of messed up for some of the clubs. They've got some of the present players, some from the past. Anyways, let's sim this one and see what happens. We destroy them. We absolutely destroyed Ajax in this Champions League final. Wow. Trophy number 18 in the bag. What we're saying about the stats and Van Persie, guys. I think Robin Van Persie is going to overtake Ronaldo. I kid you not. I think Van Persie is going to overtake Ronaldo at this rate. We have a new top scorer, guys. It's confirmed. Van Persie is crushing Ronaldo right now. Guys, first thing I think we need to do this season is kind of get ourselves a backup keeper. I'm just thinking, let's just go ahead and bring in Ben. Foster. Why not? Why not? Why Ben me? Uh, ben Foster. He's 32, boys, but he's still a free agent. I mean, well, at least on the bench, you can maybe film some YouTube videos for us, because that's what he does these days. And with that, Ben Foster is back at Manchester United. Guys, who are the players we absolutely need to replace soon? I don't think anyone really. Maybe our backline and, and goalkeeper position could use a bit of help. But that's about it, really, honestly. Per Mertesacker, 87 rated. One of the slow... How does he have 
have 73 sprint speed? No way. Um, Jerome Boateng would be a good option, but do we need to sign? Oh, I could bring in PK. I could do this. I have an idea, guys. I'm going to swap Pepe for PK. PK back at Manchester United, continuing his story. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. Let's do this. 15 million plus Pepe. We're sending Pepe to Barcelona. He can cause havoc there. And there you go, boys. PK has been signed. Come on. All right, that's going to be our team for this season. I think it's good. I think it's really good. We're lacking squad depth, to be honest. But hey, you know what? Can't have it all. Let's just put it that way. Can't have it all. Let's sim through this season. Win more trophies. That is another Premier League. I feel like we've lost, like, the Premier League once. Apart from that, we've won it almost always, which is honestly a bit insane. That's trophy number 19. We were in uh, the Community Shield final, but we took an L. What about the UEFA Super Cup? This time against Arsenal itself, we managed to win it, so... Trophy number 20. Maybe an FA Cup? Yes, indeed. 21 in the bag. No Carabao Cup, though. Have we made the Champions League final? Yes, we have against Chelsea. All right, come on. What's Chelsea's team looking like? A bit different. A few players I don't know. Still the likes of Obi Mikel, Eshi, and Terry all in there. Head a check in goal. What's going to happen here? It's a 4 2 win. That's trophy number 22 in what eight seasons we're really picking up the the momentum now towards the end of this takeover i reckon we can maybe touch 25 26 trophies maybe a little bit more okay now ronaldo has had enough of the van persie domination he is itching closer and closer Look at Nani with a 23 assist season. Ronaldo, guys, is back on top, but only just. It's going to be a tricky fight for the last two seasons. Let's see what happens. Guys, I've just found that Valencia was in the game back then, but I don't think Manchester United had made a move for him. We're anyway looking for a backup right midfielder, so might as well sign him up. He was Manchester United's right back for a fair bit right uh, in, in recent seasons, but for us, for the next couple of seasons, I'm getting him as a backup uh, to Ronaldo. There you go guys that was an easy signing i will certainly put him onto the bench and our bench is looking good too we do need a new striker because Bert bertov i couldn't even say his name briefly he's gone we just need someone back up to rooney and van Persie. so let's see what we can get a 35 year old samuletto i don't mind that he's 83 rated good backup we can get him for 5 million this will be fun i'm signing samuletto right now at manchester united that's crazy i remember when he was like 34 35 he joined Chelsea scored a goal for them, scored a hat-trick in one of their games and ended up doing like an old man celebration. I'd like a bit of that from him for us as well. There you go. A backup striker done. I think his squad's done now. We don't need to even make a signing next season. Let's put Edo into the team. That's it. Let's now sim through this season, add some more trophies. Guys, at this point, we've made it eight Premier League titles out of nine, which is crazy. Add the Community Shield as well. A bit of the FA Cup. We've won every trophy possible, even the Carabao Cup. That's four trophies this season. Are you kidding me? Bro, we even won the Super Cup. That's five. Are we in the Champions League final? Yes, indeed. If we win this, it'll be insane. Wow, Ronaldo is suspended for this game. We could end up losing it. What's going to happen against Juventus in this Champions League final? Can we win our sixth trophy of the season? We can. Trophy number 28 with that. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. We could actually equal our record of 34 next season. But it's it's ridiculously tough. But we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, Van Persie and Ronaldo still going for it. It's so freaking tight. But assist-wise, I think Ronaldo's going to run away with it. Even though Nani is picking up the steam. Ronaldo's just that far ahead. The fact that Ronaldo is top scorer and top assister, it's insane. Don't really want to sign anyone for the final season. I just want to see who wins between Van Persie and Ronaldo for top scorer and if we can equal the 34 trophy record. Let's get through this season. Also, I do want to check Buffon's age. He's 39 for us, but he's still doing well, so we're going to keep him in there. Wow, the battle for the title was insane in the final season. Just goal difference winning it for us so 29 trophies with this we won the community shield make that 30 oh my god we lost the fa cup no what about the carabao cup we don't win that no we're not going to equal any record but we do make it 31 with manchester united what about the champions league oh we're not in the final when do we get knocked out to bars and the quarters so we end on 31 trophies which isn't too bad you know and this squad yeah i think we've built an awesome awesome squad ronaldo hit 90 
99. He's now down to 97. Ramos, I think, briefly hit 99. I'm not sure, but what a team. I think if we would have gotten a better keeper this season, we'd probably, like, win the Champions League. And Ronaldo does end up winning the battle between him and Van Persie. He scored 37 this season. The stats from Ronaldo are actually crazy. 300 plus goals, 100 plus assists. Just insane. And that's that for this retro takeover. If you guys enjoyed it, drop like, subscribe, click somewhere here for more, and let me know who should we take over next in the comments. Catch y'all for the next one. Peace.